is she's beautiful Irvin and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a look using my yay bling brushes we're gonna put these bling brushes to the test as you can see they are very beautiful I almost don't want to use them because they are so pretty but we're gonna put these beautiful brushes to the test and these are the rose gold edition of the bling brushes and also to put these brushes to the test I'm going to be using the Revolution Makeup Revolution London palette called Forever Flawless I'm going to be using this Forever Flawless Optimum palette to use these brushes with okay I'm gonna come up with an eye look as you know I have on gray and in this palette I believe they are mostly cool tones and I actually have on the colors to go with this palette but it's not about the uniform color today it's about putting these brushes and this palette to the test okay so, if you want to see what look I come up with using my brushes and this amazing palette, which we're going to see if it's amazing or not, then keep on watching. And if you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to be a part of the Urban Beauty community. So push that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Alright, we're going to jump right on into this look that I'm going to come up with today. Like I said, my looks are not playing, so hey. Let's see what we come up with. And if you're already part of the Urban Beauty community, welcome back. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your love and support that you show me when you're watching my videos. And when you're commenting down below, I surely do appreciate it. Please, if you watch this video, please give me a thumbs up. It will help my channel, and I surely would appreciate it. All right, I'm not going to hold you all up too much longer. Let's get right on into this look. All right. Okay, so... I don't have any foundation on right now, so I'm going to use my Milani Conceal and Protect 2-in-1 Foundation. Alright, I'm kind of getting low, so I'm going to shake that up, put it in the top of my little, my little cup, just like this. I always take my Dixie Cups and use them as like good old holders for my foundation. Might be a nice little idea for some of y'all, okay? Okay, now what brush I'm going to use is this nice brush I think I want to use right here. It's a flat top brush, as you can see. It has a nice density, really nice density. I'm going to use that. Got a little hair on top, but it's all right. We're going to use that brush we put into the test so y'all see. Got a little hair coming out of here, just a little bit. But hey, we're going to put it to the test and see how it performs. I like to wet my brush before I put my foundation on. So I'm just going to kind of little put a little bit of water on that brush. Just to prep it for the foundation, okay? And my face. And I prime my face with the No Problem Prime Primer. Okay, so... And I've already primed my eyes, and I primed my eyes with the Cover FX, the Cover Girl Lid Lock Lockup. This right here. Okay, so I've done that. But I'm going to go ahead and put this foundation in this brush. Put it on my face. Really pretty. I need to move my mirror so I won't have to keep looking away from y'all like I tend to do bring my mirror over a little bit I can get it a little bit in front of y'all I won't look also too far away from y'all y'all can really see what I'm doing this brush is really soft so far But I've been saying I'm going to get to this brush or these brushes to do my face. But every time I get ready to do my face, I tend to forget to grab these brushes. So, I didn't forget today. And I love this foundation as well. This foundation is so nice. 
to be at such a nice price. I believe this foundation here is like eight dollars. I believe I can't remember. I ordered this foundation a little while back, but it's not as expensive as my usual foundations like my Mac. They come in like thirty six to forty dollars. My Fenty Beauty and all that. So I choose this one because it's really nice. At least my skin so nice and natural looking and dewy in a way. Not too dewy, but not too matte either. So that's why I like this foundation. It's really nice. I consider it to be full coverage because I don't have any real issues with my skin. Like I said, I always make sure I do skincare in the daytime and at night. Only at nighttime if I'm if I don't have to work. But I work at night, so most of the time I do my day and night on days that I'm off. So and I'm like off maybe once a week, maybe twice. It depends on which week. I have a long week and have a short week, which is kinda messed up. <laughs> All my days mostly in one week. So on one week I'm wishing I'm at work and the next week I'm wishing I was off work. So I wish it was kind of split up a little bit better than what it is, but hey, I digress. But this brush feels so good. It ain't too big either. That's why I like it. Hmm. Fit my little old face just right. And this foundation, like I said, it feels so good. Y'all see how this brush is applying my make my, my uh foundation? Doing a really nice job. I don't know if this foundation, like I said, is full coverage. Let me see. This is just two in one. Conceal and perfect. Medium to full coverage, okay. I kind of figured that, but still, I don't have no whole lot of issues. Y'all have to know that skin care is very important. Very important. Make sure you're doing skin care, especially on days you ain't doing a lot of makeup. You ain't doing a whole lot of makeup. Make sure you're doing your skin care. And on days you do your makeup. Do your skincare first. You want your skin to look nice. You want to look healthy. You want your makeup to look flawless. Look at my skin. That doggone foundation. No, it's good, y'all. Y'all, it no, it's good. Mm, mm, mm. I got to re-up, though, because I'm getting low. Look at that. When you can just about see through the bottom, you're getting low. So... I got three up. I'm going to give me like three more bottles because I really like that foundation. I really like it. It fits my skin tone so good. I'm just patting it in real nice. That's a good concealer too. I mean, not concealer, uh, a good primer. Really good primer. I like that no problem primer. And when it get real low to where I can't get it out the bottle, I tend to combine it with my other primers. They make it even better. So, at least for me. Waste not, won't not. Okay, we got that on real good with that nice little brush. Okay, now let's go into some concealer. And I'm going to also use the Milani Concealer. The Conceal and Perfect. And this is in the color Warm Almond. So I'm going to put that on. Just like so. This one ain't as light as the one I used the other day. Y'all remember that color? It was very light. But if you know how to blend, you're blending to make it look right. So don't never worry about that. So I got my little sponge. 
Here's my Morphe sponge. Blend it right in. I don't got to keep up with my time too much today because I'm starting fairly early. I don't have to be at work till 6. And it's just about 2.30, I believe. It's 2.16. So I started out pretty early. Go in a little bit more. Okay. Y'all see me? I ain't getting out the camera too much, am I? Sometimes I don't be paying attention. I be all moved out the camera before I know it. Making sure I'm blending real good. Okay. Y'all see that? Blending so nice. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Now I want to set that. I'm going to use my Becca powder. And this is the Becca, let me read it right, Hydra Mist Set and Fresh Powder, right here. And I have it in deep, golden bronze. So, make sure I open it right. Try to be careful opening it. Okay, so next I'm going to take... This brush right here, kind of fluffy. Go on to that powder, tap it off, and set under my eyes real lightly. Just like that. This brush is really soft as well. Nice brushes, these are some nice brushes. So far, so good. So I'm patting that in. This powder feels so cool. Kind of strange. But that's all right. Alright, we done set that now, okay? Let me move this powder out the way. Let me grab my contour kit. And this is the Sephora Pro Face Palette. And this is what it looked like. I used it the other day. Well, they went to sleep. <laughs> this is a nice uh, red carpet call. It's called Red Carpet. And it looks more orangey than red. But it's deeper than this one. This is orange for real. So, and that one's called After Party. Let me grab that sleeve. But we're going to go into Epic right now. That's this contour shade right here. Okay. And I'm going to use. No, I don't think I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use. This one. It's kind of domey looking. Okay. I'm going to go on to my jawline with that. Tap lightly. Do my jaw like this. Just like so. Going lightly. But 
do like my Walking Dead cheek bones. Okay? So I got that on. I'm smudging it out. See that? Mm -hmm. Come on around the face. Come on up here with that excess. Don't worry about the color now. And the camera look a little deep, but to me, it's not as deep, okay? Want you all to see. Come on around the forehead area. Mess with my little brow. That's all right. All right. Now... Get this fluffier brush, this powder brush right here. I'm going to tap into both of these at the same time. Come around the forehead area. Real lightly. We're still in the contour phase, okay? Split that cheek down. Got to make sure we get them cheeks, get them, get that jawline nice and crisp. Now we're just gonna go into this color here alone called Jet Setter and soften up that contour. You want this highlighted? This for me, I want it prominent. Okay, I want you to see my. Highlight real good. That's just me. You do how you want to do. A lot of people like it. I don't like to see this and I don't like to see that. Let people do their makeup how they do it. You know. Don't worry about how they do that. I mean, you want to follow their footsteps, go right on ahead. That's how I say. But let people do their makeup how they like to do their makeup. Don't have such an issue and always have something to say about what other folks do. They, with the way they do things. I don't have no problem with it, honey. I look at it, I'm like, hmm, I might want to try that. I ain't going to make it a problem. Somebody else's ways of doing things a problem. You don't want to do that. Now, I'm just going to my nose. I like to deepen it up right in there. Tapping lightly because, you, like I said, this is some nice pigmented shadow or contour colors. I mean, it could be contour or shadow. That will make it so good about palettes. You don't always have to use them as eyeshadow shades. You can use them as contour shades. But you want to be careful with this contouring, okay? You want to be careful, okay? Get under my lip. You all know how I fit about my little old lips. Okay, just like that. All right, we got that contour on there, hon. Yes, we do. Okay, I'm through with this for... For the time being, I don't know if I'm going to go back in it. I might, I might not. Okay. Now, let's go into these eyeshadows. Okay, here we go. Let's get it together. We're going to do uh, highlighting and everything else after the fact. So, let me show you this palette again. These are the colors. I'm going to be working with some grays, I believe. Okay, first brush I see is this little fluffy eyeshadow brush, blending brush, okay? We're going to tap into, let me see. I'm going to use this brown right here called Flawless. Would y'all see that? Right here. Tap lightly. Let me move these sleeves out the way. Okay.
Really nice color. Really nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. This brush is really nice as well. This blending brush is really nice. And this color is going on nice and smooth. Like I said, this uh, palette is from Makeup Revolution. And it is the Forever Flawless Optimum Palette. I think I paid $10 for this palette. And these shades are so nice and smooth so far. At least this one is. But Makeup Revolution does make some nice products. Every one that I have has been really good. I haven't had any problems with them. They might have a little fallout, but that ain't a problem to me. A lot of fallout palettes have some nice pigmentation in their color, so... And I don't think even cheaper palettes, I think all palettes you can really work with the shades if you know what you're doing. Just got to work with them. You got to know what to do with them. You kind of work with them and play with them a little bit. You'll figure it out that all little cheap palettes is bad palettes. Y'all may see me look over a little bit. I'm keeping up the time because... My camera, most cameras, you know, film at 30, 30 minutes per session. So, I just be looking over at the time. Make sure it don't cut off on me and me. I be sitting up here talking and it don't even be on. <laughs> just like so. That's a really good shade. Okay, you know, we got our schools got homecoming. And I got to do some makeup tomorrow. I think this Saturday and next Saturday. So I'm preparing for that. Try to get as much sleep tomorrow as I possibly can because I want to be prepared. Okay, so we got that color on, y'all. Now, I'm going to do a color switch because they only have like one of this kind of brush in here. Let me see this other one. I could use this one maybe. Let me try that one with my next color. I'm going to go into maximum. This is a deep gray right here. Let me go into that color. Really nice. And this brush tap it on really good. So I'm gonna come on around with that color into the crease. Bring it on around. I'm carving out the area that I want this gray in, okay? it out. Kind of want it deep. Just like that. Kind of blending it out a little bit. But I got to the deepness that I want. And this color goes right with my shirt, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see my shirt? See that? Ooh. Don't I pick them, y'all? Don't I pick them? 
of a So far, these brushes are working very nicely. You all want to pick up these brushes. Now, this is not sponsored. I pay for my, with these brushes with my own coins. That also goes for the this makeup revolution. Everything in my videos not sponsored, and I purchase with my own coins. But these brushes, as a set, is one hundred and thirty-six dollars at www.blingbrushes.com. And if you want to buy them like at the like face brushes alone, which is five face brushes, is sixty-eight dollars. And if you want to buy just the eye brushes alone, they're $68, and there's seven of those. But as a pair, it's $136 if you want as the pair, okay? Like I said, not sponsored. I just want you all to know that in case you all decide to purchase. I was scared to use them because they're so pretty. And you know, with these brushes, they have the, the white tips on them. They tend, tend to stain sometimes, so you be scared to kind of use your pretty brushes. Some people just want to ask a display piece. And that's kind of what I did. That's why I kept forgetting about them. They were sitting up, up there so pretty, I didn't want to touch them. So. Okay. Got that on. Make sure I'm carving it right. Get back on this other side. Make sure they even. Tapping that color in. Make sure I got this even. Let me look forward. One eye is bigger than the other one, so I have to make sure I got them even on both sides. I'm going to continue with this look because my camera's going to cut off in a second. Just preparing you all for that. You're going to blend this out right really quick. Make sure it's nice and blended. Get them edges. And I will see you all in a second with the rest of the eye look. Alright, we're back. So, I believe I'm going to go into... I'm going to try to do a cut crease this time. Let me cut the crease. And I'm going to use this little brush here. It's an angled brush. I tend to carve out my eyes with these kinds of brushes, but I believe I'm going to try to cut crease with this brush, okay? Like I said, we putting all these little brushes to the test. I'm going to do a cut crease, and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer to do a cut crease. Yeah, my cut crease may be a little odd because... I'm blind in my left eye, so I got to take my time. And I don't know how. Let me see if I want it right there. Or do I want to go further up What is gray? I think I'm going to come up like this. Meet with his gray is. Just like that. 
bring it on around. Just like so. Pat it out with my finger. So it's going to be somewhat of a, a blended cut crease because it's not any bold edges. Which we don't mind because I just want to make sure that next color that I put on, you better really see because it's going to be much lighter than the rest of the color. Than that gray color that's on there. But I want to make sure I put it on there nice and even like, okay? Okay, next eye. Don't you start, mom. Don't you start. I'm not used to that phone, y'all. It's my new phone. I'm not used to it yet. And it be so loud. Okay, blend it out. Come over here and do this one. gonna do mm. nah. let me make sure it's even not even let me go a little bit more on this eye over here Okay, let's see what we got. Let me back it up a little bit. Now, we all got that one eye that's a little bit bigger than the other one. So, even though I can't see, we all, I think we all had that problem. I think. Let me see. The bleed that's going to do it right there. Let me see. Let me make sure now. Let me make sure. I don't want to be too awkward. But I'm patting it in. Okay. A little bit more roundness on this one. Okay. All right. I think we got it. And if we don't, charge them ahead and I'm hard. I'm going to make it look good, y'all. Make it look good. All right. Now, going to my next color. And I believe I'm going to use Outstanding. This really co nice color right here. If y'all see that. Y'all see it right here? Let me swatch that for y'all. It's kind of a nice, pretty bluish gray color. Mm. But we're going to use this brush here. This is an awkward brush. Kind of got a weird shape to it. Y'all see that? Kind of a spoon type of shape to it. Flat off the back. Kind of rounded out the front. Okay. Y'all see that? Okay. Going to this brush. This color here. Tap it on the color. And it is a dual chrome. And I like it. 
these colors going real nice and these are some nice brushes so when you get these brushes to, to me they are really nice they are really blending out these shades really nice and even and softly not having any problem whatsoever look how smooth look how smooth they apply to my eyes see how smooth that is Ooh. going on real nice not even have to spray the brush to apply this color because you know sometimes with dual chromes you have to uh spray for them to really pop but i'm not having that problem at these brushes these brushes are applying the color really smooth it really is doing a really good job so so far i am very impressed with these brushes and as you all can see as i'm using them you all can see as well they they are applying really nice like i said so far so good It's really nice, y'all. Look at that. Y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. Did a really good job. I am impressed with these brushes so far, y'all. Like I said, I at blingbrushes.com. $136. They also have a silver set that I want, too. Since I got these, and I'm very impressed with these, rose gold. These are rose gold because the bevel is gold. It's a real rose gold color. And then have a nice pink and purple and a blue hue going on okay oh that's nice oh that's nice and i think i want to go into another color which is this one called greatest right here y'all can see that it's a deeper gray color i'm gonna put that on bringing it closer to the outer edge Giving it that nice gradient effect. You know I like the gradient effect. Kind of rounding it off. Just like that. That nice gradient effect. Excuse me, y'all. I don't know who it is, no way. I don't even know why I answered the phone. <sighs> Let it ring back there. All right. Sorry I had to go away from this camera, y'all. Y'all know how that works. Okay. Go back into it. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that gradient effect that's giving me? Let me see if I use this one with my finger. See if I can get a little bit deeper. I don't want to go too deep. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. I want to do it like that this time. Without the brush. see that do you see that mm, mm, mm. color switch and go back into outstanding brush it off like I said a gradient gradient effect kind of flicking it over into that color all right see how we got that y'all see how we got that mm, mm. Now let me grab for my brow bone color, which I'm going to use this outstanding as a brow bone color as well. Y'all know I don't mind a good brow bone color to pop. Ain't going to do too much though. Put it over there fairly lightly. Oh, 
All right, y'all see that? Bring it down a little bit, just a little bit. Now, just like that. All right. Okay. Now, I need this king brush that we got in here, right here. I'm going to put this right in the corner of my eye. Make sure that's in there real good. Just like so. Not so much as a highlight, but I want to make sure that was on there real good, too. Nah. Make sure my edges are nice and even. Everything is covered well. Okay. Now I want to go back into... I'm going to blend out those edges with this flawless again. Clean it up. Clean it up real good. Just like that. Make sure it's good and clean and even. All right. Now, I'm going to take this brush here that I use as the uh, inner corner highlight type of color. And I'm going to bring maximum around the outer corner at the bottom lash line. Just like that. Bring it all around. Just to about the center. We're not going to go all the way around with it. Just like that. Y'all see that? A little bit of silver on the outside. Just a little bit. To highlight the outside. Just a little. Yeah, just like that. Bring about a little bit of a highlight off the outer corner of that bottom lash line. Where we got that little gray going on. See that? See the effect we get? Then go back deeper. Come right towards the center, and that's it. We're not going any further. Okay, just like that. Then we're gonna go back into outstanding and bring it further out. Get some in my eye. Let's get that out the way. Bring it on around. Control my contact lens. When you get a little shadow on it, it make your contact move. So I had to be careful with my brush, not to get too close. I only have one contact. I only want work co one contact. That's in my right eye because I can't see out of my left eye. There's no point in me even making a contact for it. Okay. Now there we have that eye look. We are finished with this palette. We are finished with our eyes. I'm going to go back over my brows a little bit with the excess that's on my brush. Make sure my shape is still there. Make sure it's still brushed up and set. All right. All right. Now let's get some liner. Got my Anastasia Beverly Hills liner. careful. Don't want to speed through.
Just like that, y'all. See that? Kind of wet. So I got to be careful. Okay. I did pretty good on the first round. Got to be very careful with this one because I can't see out my left eye. So my right eye is trying to see full my right eye. Okay, do some more of a curve. I think we got it though. All right, gotta be careful. All right, now let's get these lashes on. And I got my Broadway lashes as usual. Grab my glue. And my glue is from Ardell. It's the last grip. Go ahead and get my lashes on. Because we are finished with the eyes so far. I didn't mean for this video be to be an hour long. But y'all, I've enjoyed this video. Or what you want to do. Could be my husband, but oh well. It ain't him. <laughs> it ain't him, thank God. Because I probably would have answered that one. You see? Okay. All right. Stick them in there. Sit them back up. All right, let me get this lash up. Y'all bear with me on these lashes. Hope y'all liking that eye look. Some of my fingers. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. The struggle be real. We got it that time, though. The girl be struggling, honey. Be struggling. Grab my lash cube. All right. No struggling today. Look at that. Mm. Make sure I got them the lash line. Okay, push my lashes up into that lash where that glue is. Okay. 
Now let me adhere my lashes to my lashes, my fakes to my reels. These are, this is my kiss tool. I like this because it's got that nice curvature to it, like the lashes, okay? See that curvature fit right onto the lash. The lash line, real good. One thing I don't like about it being plastic, but hey, because sometimes it'll stick. Okay, press that on. Get some mascara. Get this on real good. Okay, let me grab my lip. I think I'm going to do a new lip this time. Because you know I will throw some gray on. An ombre gray. Might be a good idea though, for real. Let me go and do that ombre gray. Hold up, y'all. Let me do that ombre gray. Let's see. We're going to do that ombre gray, y'all. And this is the Jeffree Star Medusa. Right here. Here's the Luralistic. I'm going to overline my lips a little bit. Okay, go with the second dip. That pretty gray. A little bit of white in the middle, just a little bit. I like a gray, um, I love a ombre look, period. Now we're going to do a highlight, and we're going to be finished. Got my Amreza highlight. Got my Morphe brush. Oh, do I need to use one of these brushes? Let me use this brush here. Since we're in our brushes. Use that as a highlighting brush. Look at that highlight. Ooh, honey. Mm -hmm. These are some nice brushes. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Mm, mm, mm. Bam! 
they had like just gave me my life. They gave me my life. Let me spray with my Urban Decay all night of spray. It's new, so. We lasting all night long, you know. I like to soak in it. And this is the finished look. I hope y'all like it. I'm going to back y'all up a little bit. If I can. Ooh, not up. Back. See, y'all can see. Y'all like that? Look at the eyes. How y'all think I did? Put it in the comment section below. And let me know if you like this nice little color I came up with today. And this flawless, forever flawless optimum palette. And if you decide that you might want to get these beautiful brushes. Like I said, from Bling Brushes for 138 for the whole, I mean 136 for the whole set. Ten dollars for this little palette from Makeup Revolution. Okay? And if you want the face brushes, they are five for sixty-eight dollars and the eye brushes seven for sixty-eight dollars. Okay, or the whole set for one thirty-six. Alright. So that was my Little taste, my little test for whoop, my bling brushes. These beautiful brushes. I keep dropping stuff, y'all. But these beautiful, amazing brushes that we put to the test. And this nicely blendable palette. All right. So, like I said, if you like this look, give me a thumbs up. I sure love and appreciate and very much appreciate it. And if you just like me, then give me a thumbs up. And please comment and subscribe below if you like this look and everything. You, if you like the uh, brushes and the palette as well. And if you're new here, thank you for watching. Please, I love to have you as part of the Urban View community. So push that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And this is me, Sheila She's Beautiful Urban. Sign out till next time, folks. Peace, love, and taco grease. Love you guys.